say bananas, you say peppers. I'm calling you on my teeny tiny little baby flip phone. Thanks for answering. I just did a full face get right full face get ready with you guys talking today is not my strong suit i just did a full face get ready with me live on graveyard girl i did see some banana peppers in the chat very exciting but now i'm kind of tired you guys i'm kind of tired and my voice i feel like my voice is going it was like a three hour live stream which i almost feel is like wild i feel like people usually like live stream for like an hour and um it just takes me so long to do my makeup so this was the final look i feel like it didn't turn out perfect today it's been a long time since i've done a non-neutral eye look i feel like and also i already ripped my eye lashes off because they were not as comfortable as I thought that they would be. But yeah, it was really fun. I tested out like new foundation, new eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, you know what? I actually have the shop feature here on this channel all the time. So I'll link you guys to some of the products I'm wearing today just in case you're curious. I kind of think my favorite combo is the lip combo. It's 1993 from Urban Decay and I love it. Uh, sippy sippy. So you guys, today we're gonna be doing a mystery box. This came to my P.O. box. You guys, I was just sorting out the mail from my P.O. box because sometimes I do get like just random PR packages. So I'm wanting to film a Swamp Family Mail unboxing video this week. So I was trying to like sort like the PR from the Swamp Family Mail, which you guys, I decided I wanna do another mail challenge here for this channel. We did Project Blue Book a couple of years ago and that was so much fun and a lot of y'all have been asking me off and on if we're gonna do another P.O. Box challenge. So I think that we should. I'm trying to decide on a theme because I don't know if I'll ever come up with anything as creative again as Project Blue Book. So I'm thinking of doing like just selecting another color, which I was kind of thinking like purple, but Project Purple Book is nothing. Or like pencils or pens, like everybody could just send like a random pencil or a random pen or like an eraser or something, just like something random. So you guys help me decide. I wish the poll feature still existed on YouTube. What do you guys think would be cooler? It's called zinpop.jp. It says it is from Japan and it says it's a stationary gift set. And I feel sad because I did not write down the name of the creator that I saw. I, I saw a video come up in my suggested feed and it was like a mystery, a mystery. <laughs> A mystery stationery video and it was I swear it was this company and then I was like sorting through the packages and I saw one come up from this company oh my god can I unbox this with tweezers can I use tweezers to slice the tape can she do it no no she's nearly about to poke her own finger I need the spongebob like two hours later three two one Ooh! Also, I like the little bunny. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm not gonna look at it because I don't want to spoil it. Oh my god! There's so much cute stuff in here. Let's look at it. Okay, um, up first, I'm seeing these, which are adorable. Masking tape seal. So these honestly look like they're gonna be a little bit thicker than washi tape. Look at all of these designs. We have sushi. Aren't these called Sakura, Sakura blossoms? Let's take them out so you guys can see. I love the texture. I just learned the other day. I know I always call it wasabi tape. I know it's washi tape. I just learned, thanks to TikTok, that this stuff is made out of rice paper. I am just entranced now by that thought because I always love the feeling of washi tape. I am a person, I love like different like textures and stuff. I don't want to stop calling it wasabi tape. <laughs> But it always just like feels so nice to me. All right, up next, it's something that is part of the San X brand. I love this camera, but I do sometimes feel like we struggle because the focusing, the focusing is not all there. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this like a little bird character? I swear these are called Sumiko Garashi. Isn't that what this group of characters is called? But this looks like a little bird. I'm assuming that this is a stamp. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. They show us all the different 
There's like front and back, oh my gosh. So they show us all the different stamp options. And I feel like this is a really popular thing that I've seen in Japan where like, you know, amusement parks or whatever will have like passport stamping stations. I swear they used to do that at Epcot where you would try and like collect all the stamps and then you would go to like all these stamping stations and they would stamp a little passport for you. So I guess you can can collect all of these different stamps. It looks like there's 18 of them. Oh my god! Some of these characters I've never seen before. Like that little turtle. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna try and stamp it in stamp spot 12. That's the one we got. I did a really bad job at lining it up. So I'm definitely gonna like stamp this on a piece of paper now. So cute i feel like these self inking stamps take a little bit of practice to get the stamp just right so i don't know if you can like buy these somewhere or if you just have to get them in some kind of subscription service but yeah i feel like the self inking stamps like definitely take some practice because sometimes i can get a clear stamp most of the time i don't all right up next Ooh, is this like a mini envelope and card set these kind of look like uh they would be good for a new year celebration let's open it up so i can show you guys the design there's seals for the envelopes oh my gosh okay so they're just money stuffing envelopes no cards just the envelopes these are so cute though i love the gold foiling up next oh my god i love these pins so much these are part of the uh, I actually bought this and I swear I think I bought this exact same one. So y'all might remember seeing this in a stationary haul slash swatching video. They are the Keys Lame from Pilot and I swear Pilot is the brand that also makes the friction pins. Now this does not specifically say it is part of the friction line but it is erasable um, and it does have the clear plastic rubber um eraser on the top so i did buy a purple one but now that i'm looking at the barrel maybe this one is a different shade because the top looks kind of pink and the bottom looks like a navy blue so maybe we did get a different shade than the one we already had which was purple <laughs> if i could finish my sentence that would be amazing i bought the purple one and yeah this one is pink and it's glittery and I love these so much. I feel like sometimes it doesn't show too well in the video, like just how pretty and sparkly these are. And it's about to be nighttime. So I feel like also this room is like not as bright as it usually is. But yeah, these are like so, so sparkly. And I just love anything that is part of the friction erasable line because I do make mistakes often when I'm writing things. And so far I haven't found like a super amazing like whiteout option. I don't know what this is gonna be. Maybe like post-it notes. So it looks like it's gonna be maybe a post-it note bookmark kind of situation. And let's take it out and see what's inside. Oh that's so cute. Yeah oh Oh my god, I was just trying to get it to focus and I tapped the lens instead of the screen. All the same. So let's peel one off. It's kind of sticky. They're like, I, I say this all the time, I feel like these are the kinds of post-it notes that are great for like putting in the pages of a book, which to be fair, that is what they show because they don't really feel like they'd be sticky enough to like stick on a fridge or a mirror or whatever, but it definitely adheres really well to paper. That's just such a beautiful design. All right, you guys, we got more wasabi tape. It looks like an adorable hybrid creature between a dog and a bee. Wow, this is like actually a pretty thick roll of tape. Not bad for, you know, a, a, like a mystery subscription box. Oh my gosh, there's so many different cute creatures on here. <gasps> I just tore this bird in half. Oh my gosh, y'all, I finally just got to where it's repeating. By far my favorite thing on here is this shrimp. Look at that so adorable but look at all of these different creatures flowers butterflies shrimps 
It's adorable. We have a Rilakkuma pencil and it's like a pencil you can put an eraser topper on. I feel like I do not know why, even though I feel like we had this conversation one time a long time ago. Why do some pencils not have erasers on them? Are they like meant for a certain thing? I remember always doing like the little drawing class at Disney and they always gave you pencils without erasers because it was like the whole point of it was like to not be able to erase. So yeah, I don't know if maybe this is like a drawing pencil, a sketching pencil. It also has the letter B on it. I'm assuming that that's like what type of lead is in there. Cause I feel like there's like two B pencils, number two pencils, like just growing up taking standardized tests. They were like, you gotta have a certain kind of pencil. Uh, so the Scantron can read it. All right, up next, we have an adorable block memo pad and it looks like there's gonna be four Four different designs here. These look like little penguins, right? So here's the first design. Oh my god, we have another shrimp! Here is the next design. I swear these are penguins. Last design is sushi. So, so cute! And it feels like really, really good quality paper as well. Two last things. I remember when these were like so collectible. I feel like these had a moment like the Silly Bands bracelets. Isn't that what those are called? But these are the highly detailed erasers and I never ever remember what these are called. But I just talked about these the other day. Oh my god I haven't put that video up yet. Oh my god that was like a that was a snap show I did. I haven't uploaded that video to YouTube but I was just talking about these things. I don't remember what what they're called but I think the tradition is you make a wish and it only comes with one eyeball and then you make a wish and then when your wish is comes true you fill in his other eye. All right you guys last thing in here I feel like this is like a high dollar item. It's a Kura Toga and I do believe that this is going to be a mechanical pencil. Once again with the Sumiko Garashi characters. Isn't that them? Yeah look it says that Sumiko Garashi. There's all the little characters. They are so adorable and look at how cool this is. I'm definitely going to give this to Dogman because he loves mechanical pencils so much more than I do. Wow, this actually has like a really nice write to it. Look at that. So smooth. No broken lead. Jet Pins actually just recently did a video where they were talking about like over engineered mechanical pencils and they seem so cool. I almost want to say this is one of them where it's like really next to impossible to like break the lead. And I was like, oh my God, that sounds so cool. As usual, since this came to my PO box. I don't know anything about it. I don't know how much it costs. So the stamps could be different. The mechanical pencils could be different. You could have gotten one of six different of the Lame pen ink shades. So I feel very lucky I got a shade I didn't have already. It looks like the notepad, like it looks like most of the things um, could have been different except for the uh, bits of wasabi tape. Those look like they would, are the same but the envelopes are different. The erasers could have been um, a different shade. This was like super, super fun. I would definitely unbox one of these again. So let me know if you guys would like to see more of these unboxed and I will take a subscription. This actually like really seems fun and I honestly do miss the mystery box thing. I know we've had this conversation a million times but I kind of miss when those were like a trending popular thing. I really miss Sephora play boxes. Beauty box five. Oh my god there's a blast from the past. I miss all the mystery boxes because they were so fun but thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching. Let me know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I'm gonna go rest my voice because I feel like I'm about to lose my voice but until I see you guys again which is gonna be very very soon. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I forgot to say if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the banana pepper squad today. I love you guys so so much and I'll be back again very very soon. Bye!